Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, you are watching the YouTube station identification of one of the Beth Masters resident YouTubers. That is correct. That is right. And I am here live in the basement. And no, it's not the game show from MTV Remote Control. And no, I am not its host, Ken Ober, God rest his soul. But who I am, however, is Mr. Eric Lima. Eric M. Lima. Mr. Lima to all you guys don't like to disrespect me. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, and you are watching my YouTube channel, my third season of, under my YouTube channel of WEML TV Channel 77. Um, my original YouTube channel is still up. By the way, I have not used it, so I decided to move on from that. Even though I would have deleted everything, but but I, I have I still have everything um, in in my uh, in these little files here. Uh, but I'm leaving it up just in case. Um, that way, because um, nobody has ever bothered me in that channel ever again. No one's ever bothered me as far as this channel is concerned. But. You know, I'm getting like, you know, like one of those uh, spam, like free iPhone stuff and, you know, hot girl stuff and everything else. And I had to delete those comments and block the channel. I think they're, you know, they're trying to hack in my YouTube probably. But I got to be very, very careful nowadays. But whatever. But it is a BEA beautiful day outside. I mean, I went out there. Working this morning, sweeping up stuff, and I realized it was starting to get hot from me in my hoodie. So I said, I'm putting the hoodie in the car when I get to my car. Towards the end of the shift, I put my hoodie in my car, went inside, took a break and everything else. 15 minutes, we're up. And uh, 11 o'clock, boom, out. There I go. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and we're halfway through this week, lots of crazy stuff going down. Uh, if you've been watching the news, you know what. If you've been watching the news, you know what's been happening. And all I'm hearing, a lot of things going on. All I'm gonna do is just pray. Just pray that, you know, the Lord works everything out, man. I still got a neck beard. Unbelievable. I'm still trying to shave this off, somewhat. Right. Anyways, anyways, enough of that. Um, check this out. We are, uh, as you know. WrestleMania Backlash is this coming Sunday. This coming Saturday, I will make up my uh, picks and predictions for that. So be well aware for um, on the way, uh, well aware for that. And uh, the final card once once uh, this Friday night SmackDown is complete, I will try to jot down the, the the final card and then work from there. And I'm really excited. AEW Dynamite tonight, three title matches. The tag team AEW World Tag Titles are on the line. Young Bucks to defend against SCU. SCU loses, the team splits up for good. And then, um, whatever, uh, what else? Other matches on the card. TNT title on the line. Darby Allen, if he can go, he'll defend it against Miro, formerly known as Rusev. And then the IWGP United States Heavyweight Title. John Moxley to defend that against Yuji Nagata. And. Uh, that will be a heck of a match. I'll be watching those three matches tonight because tonight is the AEW Dynamite. Really looking forward to it. And tomorrow night, um, Rent and Rate Podcast at 8 o'clock. The return of G-Man's Legit, a.k.a. Jordan Little. He is coming back. Also, we're going to have ECW legend Sabu to be on the show as well. So join Brandon Martin, Jordan Little, myself, and all of, and whoever, whoever's co-host, Michael Mabarier, Lena on Calavera. Who knows which one of those two, but whatever, where join us for ECW Legend Sabu on the Rant and Raid podcast. I hope you guys are looking forward to it. And um, I'll be here with my professional microphone. Alrighty then. <laughs> having too much fun here. I'm sure y'all going to be going, you're having too much fun, Lima, you're talking. Yep, I'm all hyped up on Coke, too. On Coca-Cola, I'd be like, Wah. I feel like Beavis, you know, you turn, you put your head, you you go, I am the great court, hold on, are you threatening me in a TP, TP, for the way, bongo? Okay. <laughs> Eric, settle down, boy. Okay, nice kid, but he doesn't listen to a word I've said. <laughs> what I've said? Pay attention, boy. You might learn something. That's my frog on leg on impression. Just <laughs> what I said. What's going on here? Pay attention, boy. You might learn something. <laughs> uh, frog on leg on is my favorite uh, Looney Tunes character of all time. That's how fun that's how funny because he always says, "What I said. What? Pay attention, boy. You might learn something." <laughs> 
great, great, great horny toads. <laughs> uh, you're sending me sand. Wow. Well, anyways, quiet. Okay. <sighs> okay. That that was great. That was great. I just love it. I just love it. And he had the text tag for Tim. Bar. That was a shout out for you and Anthony Hardy. Oh yeah, it's, and check out. You gotta check out WWE Music has um, uploaded new video, um, new music. Uh, Cameron Grimes, Cameron Grimes to the moon. I'll talk a little bit about him. Um, I love guy. That guy's funny. I love <laughs> Cameron Grimes. I like Cameron Grimes to the moon. Kiss Margaret's. <laughs> oh, that was great, dude. Uh oh, Dashy's up to something. Uh, uh, boy, that's great. That's great. Okay, so anyways, uh, so anyways, I'm having too much frigging fun here. Just give me a second here. I will talk about the NXT that happened last night. So it'll be the NXT Event Center for May the 11th, 2021. I can't believe we're, we're halfway through this week of May. we got Pay Week coming this Friday. I, I mean, I got Pay Week coming this Friday, which I'm really excited about, as always. Friday's my favorite day. But technically, though, know, technically, I would be more excited if I hadn't had to work Saturday. But I had to work Saturday because we are just a... Because I, you know, I was very happy working Monday through Friday. That's the only pet peeve I have. So, anyways, let's get right into it, folks. You, as you know, I missed the four, first 45 minutes of NXT. But thank God for streaming services that would air these episodes. Um, catch the first uh, 45, uh, 45 minutes of the show. That's the, usually, I miss, but they, they have wrestling uh, websites that will, will air these shows just for the heck of it. Um, eight, so here we go, um, NXT TakeOver, Media, um, Event Center, I mean NXT TakeOver, when I say NXT TakeOver, ah! <laughs> uh, speaking of pay-per-view events for NXT, I, let me just, maybe I have to clean, clean my glasses, maybe, that could be the reason why, uh, do I look good with my glasses now, should get contacts, nah, oh, oh nah, nah, that's, that's pretty good, alright, here we go, there we go. All right, I look good. And we're ready to go here. Okay, NXT Event Center for May the 11th, 2021. Let's kick it off. Um, as you know, this match was that um, Carrying Cross versus Austin Theory. Austin Theory, who's probably dumber than a bag of hammers, um, <laughs> you know, him and Johnny Gagano made the mistake of um, jumping Carrying Cross last week, and now Carrying Cross, uh, he was beaten. He was dominating the heck out of uh, Austin Theory to the point where he put Austin Theory to sleep and the referee stopped the matchup. And in fact, he was out of it carrying cross. But all of a sudden, he looked at Johnny Gargano. Is Gargano next on his list after he gets done? And speaking of which, uh, Finn Balor appeared in the middle of the ring after the matchup. Says we got a rematch. And they're, and they're having the rematch in two weeks, according to... All right. Uh, both Kushida and Raquel Gonzalez, the champions, arrived at the uh, CWC separately, obviously. Leon Ruff, though, wanted to compete. But William Regal says, no, you're not cleared after what happened to you at the hands of Swerve and his crew. And then he got so mad, he started wrecking Regal stuff. says, what I got to do? What I got to do? Brizongo um, went on, one, um, in a tag team match against um, MSK in a non-title situation. MSK did pick up the victory, and but afterwards, you know, after the shake hands of respect, MSK called out Legato Del Fantasma. And uh, Johnny Gargano confronted William Regal about complaining about defending his title against uh, North American title next week against, uh, against, against Bronson Reed. But then Johnny Gargano got upset, grabbed Regal's, pen, Regal's pencil, and broke it in half. More on that. PW, P. Dunn, P. Well, PW. 
Uh, Pete Dunn, along, along with Orny Larkin, decided to issue an open challenge to anybody. And he goes, fine. Leon Ruff then blindsides Pete Dunn. Is Leon Ruff nuts? Has he lost his mind? Ever-loving mind. And then they decided to have a matchup, and Pete Dunn beat Leon Ruff. And then a post-match attack with uh, Leon Ruff getting his finger snapped by Pete Dunn. William Regal probably was going, oh, that poor, that poor, dear poor boy, I shouldn't have let him do that. Well, he usually... So, anyways, uh, El, uh, Legal Del Fantasma was addressing their match, uh, especially Santos Escobar addressing his match against Kushida tonight, um, last night. In a two out of three falls match for the Cruiserweight Championship, saying they'll they'll get the title back and all that. And then they were talking about MSK and the tag team titles, how they're gonna get those. Right? Uh, Raquel Gonzalez along with Dakota Kai gets ready for her title defense. Now, on Twitter, um NXT posted up a video where uh, there was supposed to be a matchup against Killian Dane and Alexander Wolf, but the match did not happen because Alexander Wolf was not cleared due to a stomach bug. Alright. Um, due to his, due to his stomach bug. All right, and in two weeks, Frankie Monet will make her in-ring debut, or as they, she likes to call it, the world premiere. So be on the way with that. And also two weeks, I mentioned this: Karrion Cross, Finn Balor, NXT title rematch. If Karrion Cross should, should survive, will Johnny Gargano be on his hit list after what Gargano did to him? Huh? If, if Gargano was smart, he would worry about Bronson Reed right now. Then they had the NXT Women's Championship match between Raquel Gonzalez and the, vet and the veteran Mercedes Martinez as a challenger. It was a hard-fought matchup. Both women you know, fought hard, but in the end, it was a good matchup. Mercedes Martinez did... Um, I mean, Raquel Gonzalez did pick up the victory over Mercedes Martinez. It, be, it was a heck of a matchup. And in the video, um, while Mercedes Martinez was getting checked out by the doctor, Raquel Gonzalez came up there. He said, I respect you. And that kind of infuriated Dakota Kai. Hmm, interesting to say the look. Well, Isaiah Square Scott and his crew, uh, Brianna Brandy, AJ Francis, and Ashanti Diodonis arrived at the CWC. And then Bronson Reed was attacked in the locker room. And when he got up, he said, Johnny's a dead man. And I'm going, hmm, I think I know who attacked Bronson Reed and why. And then the NXT debut with Swerve and his crew. And now they are to be known as the Hit Row. We all know Swerve Scott. We all know Ashanti Diodonis and AJ Francis now known as Top Dollar. And Brianna Brandy is known as B-Fab. So, this crew this crew could make a whole lot of problems, cause a whole lot of problems to NXT. The Hit Row, watch out. Isaiah Swerve Scott, Ashanti Diodonis, Top Dollar, and B-Fab. Look out. Those four are capable of anything. Then Cameron Grimes, Cameron Grimes, who came out with his um, theme song, Stacking Money. You got to listen to it. Oh, Josiah Williams did an excellent job with that song. To the moon. God, I like that. That, guy's got, that guy's got charisma. He'll annoy anybody. I can see him, I can, I can see him trying to hand out money on Raw or Smack now. <laughs> I can see. And Paul Heyman, Mr. Heyman, I can work, make it worth your while. You just got to take me to the moon. <laughs> I like I like Cam I like Cam Grimes. That guy's funny. Anyway, she was at an auction. The idiot comes out of his car. What's he doing? This guy's hilarious. And he's and all of a sudden somebody bid twenty million on the house. And who bid? Ted DiBiase. He's done it again to him. That Ted DiBiase. Oh, he was hilarious. I gotta figure this guy. He says he gotta figure them out. And what? What's the on the bum? He says I I gotta figure out Ted DiBiase. Hey, in order to be Aussie, make an alliance with him. That's what I would do. Teddy Biasi was a manager, remember? Million Dollar Corporation. Back in 95, Zoe Stark then addresses Tony Storm about, about the, the, the feud they're having. So next week, they're having a matchup. I love Tony Storm. She is so freaking gorgeous. <laughs> All right. So Orny Larkin went one on one with cool Kyle O'Reilly. And then. And then Kyle O'Reilly was um, won the matchup, but then Pete Dunn attacked Kyle O'Reilly. And then Bobby Fish, who we hadn't seen in months, came to O'Reilly's aid. And then Bobby Fish said, "Hey, I know you're doing your thing. I'm gonna let you do your thing. Never that. We're going our separate ways." So more more of a mutual respect, which I think is pretty cool. And then the way cut a promo uh, with a superhero type. And then Bronson Reed says, I'm sick and tired of Johnny Gargano. I'm sick and tired of Austin Theory and the way interfering. So William Regal gave me what I want. Next week, 
the NXT North American title in the line on the line in a steel cage matchup. And Johnny Gargano, you run your mouth, you complain, you whine, you run your mouth. This is what you're gonna get. And I'm telling you one thing, I hope you get beat. And Ronson Reed walks out the new North American champion. And and this was <laughs> and then uh Kushida went one on one. With Escobar, the, the main event was the NXT Cruiserweight title match. Awesome job here. What a, you know, who would have thought the Cruiserweights would make would make the main event of any show, either Raw or SmackDown or NXT? Uh, Kushida and Escobar did it. And uh, the um, Legato Del Fantasma tried to get involved in the matchup. But NSK decided to take out Mendoza and Wild, And then referees decided both teams ejected back to the locker room. Oh, during the during the uh, the Breezango matchup and MSK matchup, Daryl Sharma did a leapfrog, duck down, and everything else, and he was like he's ready to go for a fight. He said, "Dude, you're a referee. Referee the match." It was crazy. Daryl Sharma got to give him a shout out. Uh, the first fall went to uh, Santos Escobar, and then a couple of seconds afterwards, Kushida beat him by submission for the second fall, and then in the end, Kushida did a sort of like a suplex that a bridge like suplex that got it was. Very unique to the point where uh, pinned them for the one, two, three, and it's it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. So, like I said, two uh, in two weeks, Karen Cross, Finn Balor, and, and then Frank, Frankie Monet's uh, debut in the ring. I would not be surprised if Io Shirai comes back and decides to feud with Frankie Monet, but. Um, and I got, I got to tell you, and then uh, Shotzi Blackheart says her and Ember Moon will be coming back next week to, on the bump, next next week to try to uh, get those titles back from Candice Ray and Indy Hartwell of the way. You know, how is Dexter Loomis going to play in and all this? We don't know. That's the crazy part. Is Dexter Loomis still have a thing for Indy Hartwell? Has Indy Hartwell decided, I'm moving on. If you saw Indy Hartwell on Twitter, she um, did some guitars, you know, when the Hit Row made her debut. The guitar and she played pretty good to put guitar and sang too. I thought it was did the um old town road by Lil Nas X, which I think was a cool song. Run my horse, run the old town road. I'm gonna ride till I can't no more. It was, it was really crazy to say the least. But in the end, uh, like I said, the cruiserweight title match was pretty awesome. So um, oh yeah, big announcement: June thirteenth, NXT in your house is back for another year. Um, June the 13th, can't wait for it, and, uh, let's see what happens. We know last in your house, we have a, a new, uh, he had a new NXT champion in Io Shirai. But now, Raquel Gonzalez has got the gold. We'll see what happens at in your house this year. I'm looking forward to it. Don't know about you guys, but you know what? It's going to be pretty cool. And as you know, AEW is tonight. The Varsity Blondes, uh, joined up with Julia Hart. She's not related to the Hart, so she's from Minnesota. Well, who knows? She'll be a distant distant relative of the Hart family. Who knows for sure? Uh, uh, the Varsity Blondes is, to me, it's a combination of the Varsity Club and the Hollywood Blondes together. I think that's a mix. I like that. Um, here's the here's the dealio on this one. Adding Julia Hart to the group is like the old Varsity um, Varsity Club when they reunited and had Leia Miao as the cheerleader. You got Julia Hart, the cheerleader. The only difference is she can wrestle. So I think uh, Griff Garrison, Julia Hart, and Brian Pillman Jr. Awesome tag team. Can't wait to see them in action. Like I said, three major title matches. The TNT title on the line. Darby Allen versus Miro. If Darby Allen can go, if not, Miro's got the title. Um, you got the uh, AEW World Tag Team titles. Young Bucks to defend against SCU. The team of Frankie Kazarian and Christopher Daniels. If they lose, team splits up. And then you got the IWGP United States Heavyweight title as John Moxley, former AEW champion. We'll defend that title against Yuji Nagata. Can't wait for that matchup. And I will probably give you a recap um, down the road. Um, as you know, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to do a Saturday Superstar Cade episode this coming Saturday. But, however, I will, like I said, make pred um, predict picks and predictions via WrestleMania Backlash Event Center. Can't uh, we'll, uh, I'll tell you what's going to go on there. Pretty excited about that. Tomorrow, Red and Ray podcast. Return of Jordan Little. ECW legend Sabu will be with us. Can't wait. Uh, join Brandon Martin, myself, Jordan, uh, Jordan Little, and and whoever is 
our fourth co-host could be Michael Mabardier or Leon Calavera. We don't know. And I know we don't want four co-hosts, but it'd be an honor to have those, um, be an honor to have ECW Legend Sabu. Um, I, I will give out my, you know, three topics as usual, as long as the others. Come in, go and watch. Please support the Rent and Ray podcast. I know we're in the Thursday Night Wars with the Hangman Charlie Outcast for the time being, but we're going to have some fun uh, on the Rent and Ray podcast with ECW Legend Sabu. I think it's always great to have all these celebrities and we get to hear their stories and, you know, Randy West, um, thank you for being on the show last week. And he's, you know, and when he says he underestimated our professionalism, I mean, we're not professional. We're just doing this for fun and all that. And I'll be honest with you, but we're not, you know, but we we try to be respectful. And that's probably the most important thing ever is we respectful and hear the stories. And, you know, even with fans, we always listen. And that's the thing. That's the most important thing on our Rank and Ray podcast. We try not to be rude to our guests. And that's probably the most important thing. Right now, and it's really, really cool. And to me, to me, I'm so nervous. I was, you know, every time we got, oh, we got, we got this one, I'm like, holy cow, gonna, what questions I want to ask? I'm so nervous. You don't want to ask dumb questions or, or Howard Stern like questions. Like, what are we, Howard Stern now? And, I'll, and I make jokes about that. So, but gotta be respect. I always gotta try to be respectful to all I guess. And this is my first time ever doing this, you know. We had Ricky Morton who makes jokes, who made a joke about my room thinking it's all smoky and all that. Nah, nowadays, nah, you don't have to worry about a thing there, Ricky. Is that I think because of my lighting and all that, so it's crazy, crazy to say the least. So I'm having a great time. Hope you are too. So that will um that will do it for the 215th episode of WEML TV Channel 77. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I hope uh, you guys enjoyed uh all this. And I'm very very pleased as punch that you guys get you know join in and everything else. And remember, rent and rate podcast tomorrow. I'm trying to get the word out and. Uh, I'm just really excited. I'm just really excited about it. So, um, I will see you guys later. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. And, um, hope I can see you on the next, I'm going to see you on the next, ep- see me on the next episode. 216. What am I going to do then? I don't know. I'm going to try to figure everything out in between. So, um, I'll see you guys later. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Until then, bless out.